Just messing around a little bit today with the Glock 22 and 40 Smith & Wesson. This is not my handgun, unfortunately. I didn't steal it. I borrowed it from someone in the family. They are aware of it, and they know I'm making videos with it. They uh, were gracious enough to let me borrow it while I strongly consider buying one of my own. Not this one because it's not for sale. I did own a Glock 22 back in 1991, about a year after it was introduced, along with the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge. Held onto it for a few years and started doing a lot of trading and ended up sticking with uh, 9mm for the better part of the last 15 years. But rethinking that strategy, not getting rid of the 9s, just want to add some 40s to my collection, and I think this will be my first choice. This is the same size as the 17, which is not a stranger to me. I've owned several of those. So it's not a matter of um, getting you know, used to this frame again, but essentially the uh, recoil, the so-called snappiness or whatnot of the 40 cartridge. Uh, good thing is that I've done a lot of shooting and target shooting since those years when I had the 40, and I think I've picked up some tips on how to better control recoil. So thinking about this, it is the number one law enforcement handgun in the U.S. Can't go wrong with that. It's a proven handgun on the street, but it's something I would use for target practice, for ballistic testing for my YouTube videos, and it's not so big that I could probably conceal this as well.